how do you assign a grade for participation in the remote scenario? Um, so this summer, uh, we are using DB Collaborate, which is a platform like this. We are requiring uh, attendance in, in tutorials for an hour a week, and that goes towards their participation. We're also using uh, Perusal, which is like a reading chatting app, and that goes towards participation. Uh, we're also being integrated with Piazza, a discussion board, and that can go towards uh, participation. And in, I, I, in the past, in, in person, I have used Crowdmark effectively for participation as well. Uh, I haven't tried that uh, online. So for in person, for more of a seminar course, we might have student presentations and I hand out a sheet and say, OK, answer these questions. We'll see if you've got that. And that works uh, really well. But I, so I think it's a kind of a grab bag of stuff. We did participation grades during the summer. And it's really the first time I've done it in my classes. And we did a few different things, sort of similar to Jen. It's a little bit of spread out lots of things. Um, but we actually had our tutorials where the students had to present problem solutions and their peers that were in their breakout room did peer assessment. And so those things contributed to participation. It wasn't really a graded thing, but they had to present problems so many times to get their full credit for particip participation. And they had to complete the peer assessments legitimately so many times for the same thing, which kind of counted, I guess, like attendance, but it was a little bit more active attendance in our tutorials. And they had some very short assignments that followed right after each tutorial that were just pass fail if they did them or not for, for participation, just as kind of wrap up. 